okay, converting units, okay, we're often asked to convert, for instance, kilometers to miles. And in order to do that, you need to remember this fact. We need, you need to remember that eight kilometers is equal to five miles, okay? If you remember that, then it opens up the question to you. It gives you access to the question. If you don't remember this for the exam, you won't be able to get any marks, okay? So this is one fact you need to learn. And what's good about this is, if we know what eight kilometers represent five miles, we can then easily work out what 24 kilometers is. I'm gonna write it underneath, okay? Straight away, in fact, because I know I can scale eight up to get to 24. If you know your eight times table, you know eight will go into 24 three times. So if I multiply that distance, eight kilometers, by three, I'll get a distance of 24 kilometers. But of course, if I'm making the kilometer distance three times bigger, I need to make the miles distance three times bigger also. So five times three is 15 miles. Okay, and um, that's the distance we're looking for, okay? That's what 24 kilometers represents in miles. So then, with the second one then, 84 kilometers to miles. Well, again, we start off with the fact that we need to remember eight kilometers is equal to five miles, okay? And again, we're gonna scale it up. But straight away here, I can see I'm gonna struggle to get that to 84 straight away. The reason why I can see that is because, if you think about it, eight kilometers, well, I know if I times it by 10, for instance, it gets me close, doesn't it? Um, but not quite enough. If I times it by 10, of course, you add a zero on, I get 80 kilometers, all right? Now, I can easily do the same on that side then. I, I made that 10 times bigger to get 80 kilometers. Well, I'll make the miles then 10 times bigger. Five times 10 is 50, 50 miles, okay? Um, that's 80 kilometers. Now, there isn't a way to multiply eight as such to get 84. It's not an easy way, okay? Um, times it by 10, we'll get 80. By times it by 11, I'd get 88, okay? So we need to go in between. But another way of thinking about it is, is looking at what else I need here. I've got 80 kilometers. I just need another, another four kilometers, don't I? Okay, another four kilometers. And then if I you know, put them together, they'll give me 84. Well, good thing is, going back to the fact that I've remembered, if I know eight kilometers, five miles, I can work out what four kilometers is, can't I? Because if you think about it, four kilometers is half of eight kilometers. So if we halve that, I get four kilometers. I just need to halve that. And if I halve five, I get 2.5, okay? So four kilometers is 2.5 miles. To then finish off that question, to get 84 kilometers, I just need to add these two together, which means I add these two together as well. And 50 and 2.5 is 52.5, okay? 52.5 miles, okay. Um, Part C then says convert 45 miles to kilometers. All right. Um, well, um, remember that eight kilometers, again, comes back to this, is five miles. This time they've told me how many miles there are. All right. So I need to sort of change, I need to scale this up to 45. And it is possible, isn't it? Okay. We can scale the miles up. And if you think about it, five miles to 45, I'd have to times it by nine yeah if we know our five times table five goes into 45 nine times so if i times by nine i get 45 but that means i got to times the kilometers by um nine as well so eight kilometers times nine is 72 72 kilometers okay so 45 miles is represented by 72 kilometers the next part then convert 122.5 miles to kilometers well again going back to what i need to remember Okay, and um, we need to scale it up. Now this time it's quite a big number. Of course, we haven't got a calculator, but what I can do is just to take my time on it. Um, you know, if I um, get close to that number, then I, I can improvise at the end. You know, if I times it by 10, for instance, if I times five miles by 10, I get um, 50 miles, wouldn't I? But if I times it by 20, if I double that, of course I get 100 miles, wouldn't I? 100 miles just by times it by 20, I'm sure you'd agree that. Um, so if I'm making that 20 times bigger, well, I'd need to make this 20 times bigger as well. So times that by 20. And eight times 20, well, that's actually easy to do because you, you do like eight times two, yeah? Eight times two is 16 and add a zero. Okay, so eight times 20 is 160 kilometers. 
Now let's see if I can get a bit closer to there. Well, let's go for 20 miles. Let's work out now what 20 miles would be. Let's think about it. Well, I know five miles, yeah? So 20 miles, to get from five miles to 20 miles, if you think about it, I've got a times it by four, haven't I? I don't want to draw the arrow in case it gets a bit confusing, but it's four times bigger than that, isn't it? So if I make it four times bigger than that, I need to make the kilometers four times bigger. And eight times four is 32. And look what I've got so far. I've got 100 and I've got 20 miles. That adds up to 120 miles. I need 122.5. So how many more miles do I need? Um, 120, but well, I need another 2.5, don't I? And again, what's good about this is 2.5 miles. Well, I know 5 miles. 2.5 miles is just half of it, isn't it? Halve it. So that means I halve the kilometres. Half of 8 is 4 so I've got then 125 here, okay? 125 miles, I'm sorry, 122.5 miles will be then these added together. And I think that comes to 196. I need to be careful I add the right ones, but it's these three I need to add together there. Yeah, and it comes to 196 kilometers.